Good evening, welcome to Homemakers. Today we're going to be making crepe paper flowers. So you have supplies to make three different flowers in your kit as well as some supplies to make leaves and the centers of the flowers. So you should have three different colors for your flowers and those will be just loose in your envelope um, in three different sizes. These green shades are going to be for your leaves. You should also have three floral wires and some floral tape. And then in this bag, these are the three patterns for your flowers. These smaller pieces are for the center, so you can decide which ones you want to use for that. And I'll show you how to make those as well. And then you should have a couple of paper clips. This will just help keep our papers together. So you will need to grab some scissors to cut through this paper as you're working and it would also be helpful to grab a tissue or paper towel we're going to use that to make the center of the flower you should also have instructions for the three different flowers that we're doing as well as for the centers and patterns for the leaves so i have my let's see i'm going to start with the daisy And so your daisy is going to be, um, if you look at your different colors, it's probably going to be the lightest one, but also um, it will be uh, not as tall, your pieces of paper. Um, it's also a, a shorter piece of paper. There aren't as many petals for this one. So I'm going to show you how to make the petals. Um, so we're going to use this pattern. I need to trim this because I should have trimmed it on the line. And for crepe paper, you can actually fold it back and forth, so I'm going to fold it here, and we're going to do an accordion fold. So then I'm going to fold it this way, and I just want to make sure that it stays this size. Okay, now I'm going to fold it in the opposite direction. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And again, fold it over like this. And then I've got a little tail here, so I'll just fold it back. So you can see it's about three layers, uh, four layers actually. Once you've got your accordion fold done, you're going to place this right on top. And this does tend to move around, so I'm going to clip this here. Now, what you're going to cut is this edge along the top. These lines here, you're just going to cut through those. So first I'm going to cut the top off. And I'm just going to follow this curved line as best as I can. And then when I get here, I cut down. And you just want to stop when you get to the bottom there. Don't cut all the way down. Same thing here.
Okay, so when you get to the end, just make sure you don't cut the side there because we need it to stay folded. And then we'll take this off. All right, so when you take it off, you can see because it's folded, it makes all the petals for you. Um, you may notice in certain areas that you may have to trim. So here it was, this was at the end where it was folded, so you couldn't cut through those petals. So I'm just gonna look for areas where I need to trim. So here. So we've got all of our petals. I'm gonna set this aside and we're going to do the center. So for this one, they recommend making the, let's see, I think they call it the button. So if you look at your instructions, we're gonna be making the button. And that one just uses a little bitty square. So you can open up your package for the centers here. Some of them will be longer, that's for the um, the fringe one, we're going to be using that later, but if you go through here and you find one that's just a little bitty square, um, then you can use that. So I'm going to make mine, I'll make this pink color. So I'm going to trim it, it's a little big. So for this one, this is why I had you grab a, a paper towel. You're just going to ball it up. You can also use something like a, a piece of cotton. And for this one, you're just going to put it right in the center of your little square and wrap it up. And this will actually go on the wire, so later on we'll attach the petals. But for now, we're just sticking it on here and wrapping it. And you can take your floral tape and just make sure this is secured on here. Need to go a little bit higher. All right, so I've got my center little button and I'm going to go back to my daisy instructions so we're going to attach this and I'm just going to put a little fold in here and you can kind of see I'm going to bend the wire um, where the center, what the center is going to look like there. You just want to see the top of this. You don't really want to see the green. So you're just going to wrap this around. So as you're wrapping, you don't want to wrap it too tightly because the more that you pull this, the more likely you are to stretch out these cuts. So I'm not wrapping very tightly. I'm just making sure that the petals are all Um, straighten because sometimes they do get folded as you're wrapping. And you're just going to keep wrapping until you get to the end and then we're going to wrap it with floral tape just like we did um, with the center of the flower.
Okay, so now I've reached the end. And I'm going to use my floral tape to secure this. And you can wrap it pretty tightly. So we've got this secured to our wire, and now we're going to, you may want to wipe your hands, the tape gets kind of sticky. Um, we're going to fluff out our flower. So you can just start folding these back. And as you do, these petals are supposed to be flared outward, so you can just pinch the petal like this and pull it on either side to curve it. This paper is really stretchy so you should be able to do that without any problems. And then you just kind of fluff your flower out. If you've got uneven petals or things you want to trim, you can do that. Um, but this is the first one. For the next one, we're going to do the, let's see. I'm gonna do the spider mom. And that one is actually the biggest one, so whichever piece of paper is the tallest is the one you're going to grab. And it should match up to this pattern here that says Spider Mom. So for this one we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to do our accordion fold. Right. So we fold it over. Fold it backwards, and then fold it the other way, and just keep doing that until you run out of paper. All right, 
right, so I've got my paper folded. We're gonna do the same thing with this one. Just clip it in place. Same one for this one, you're gonna cut all along the top and then these lines you're gonna cut as well. So I'm just gonna start with my top and then I'll come back and do the lines. a little harder because the light the petals are so spiky Got this one cut. I'm going to take these clips off. And this is, I think, the longest one that we have. So we've got it fringed all the way along the edges, and I'm just going to go along like with the last one and see if there are any areas where I need to cut. So usually that's wherever it was folded. Okay, so this one uses a fringe in the center. So let's see what I've got. I've got this light pink, so I'm gonna use this one. So 
so for this one uh, we've got our six inch by two inch piece of paper um, and we're just going to create a fringe um, all along the top so I'm going to cut probably around halfway down and I'm actually it's a lot easier to cut this if you just fold it over like this and it says about an eighth of an inch so I'm just going to do very small spaces in between. I've got my center. So I'm going to take another wire. And same as last time, we're just going to wrap this around and then secure it with our floral tape. The next flower that we do also has this type of a center. So I just want to make sure this is secure on here and it's not moving around too much. Okay. So we're going to take our petals and we are going to wrap it around. So this is pretty thick so we don't want to wrap it all in the same place so we're going to start a little bit lower for this one and then as we twist we're going to work our way up. So I'm starting down here and this is going to be a very fluffy one. And I'm going to start wrapping. Remember, you don't want to stretch your paper out. I know it looks kind of kind of lumpy, but it won't be as lumpy when we add the floral tape. So I'm starting to work my way up just a little bit. Straighten out your petals if they start getting funky. I'm still working my way up, but you can see the center is still, it's still visible, but it's not sticking out at the top.
going to take. Finally, gotten to the end here. So I'm going to take my tape and secure this. I'm just working my way down with the tape to cover all of this red. So we've got our flower. I'm going to bend this just so you can see it. Um, now, so we need to curl these a little bit just so they look more natural. Um, so we're going to curl these inward. So just starting at the outside, just use your hands to shape it by folding them in. And you can do that several at a time. Just grab a little handful. So you just continue shaping that until you get it how you want it. But this is the spider bomb. So our last one is the Dahlia. And that one also has a fringe in the center. So I've got this dark shade here. And then we have our Dahlia pattern. So I'm folding this just like I did last time. this on. So these petals are similar to the daisy that we did first except these are these leaves are a little pointy. So we're going to cut the top. And then cut down on this black line.
So now we've got the petals for this. And once again, I'm just making sure there aren't any areas that I need to trim. So for this one, I think I'm going to give it a light colored center. So I'm going to make the same fringe that I did earlier. So I've got that. I'll find my last piece of wire here. Wrap this around. secure this with our tape. So we're going to do the same as last time with this one. We're going to wrap it around, but we're going to start a little bit lower and then work our way up. But this strip of petals isn't quite as long. I'll start here. working my way up a little bit so you can see the end is down here and I've just wrapped it a little bit higher as I go. is stuck on there pretty well and now we're going to attach our attach it to the wire
So we've got our flower, and for this one, we're going to cup the petals inward. Um, so you can start towards the outside here. And so the other, I guess it was the, the daisy, we kind of pinched this way. For this one, we're going to do it the opposite and put your thumb in the center here so that the petals face in. And you can do a few of these at a time if they're overlapping. So you can see the petals kind of starting to take shape when you do that. Got a stray strip of paper here. I'm just going to take off. So, this is your spider mom. Now, if you want to attach leaves, You'll need the pattern for that. So I'm going to do, let's see, we use for Spider Mom, I use this one. Now it says which flowers to use these for, but you can use them for any anything, I think. It just depends how you want it to look. Right, so I'm going to use one of my greens this one. I'm just going to cut it out. Here's the leaf. And I'm just going to make this a little, a little bigger. And if you want to add more than one leaf, you can. So you would just attach this with floral tape. I'm going to put mine up here near the top. And these are totally optional. The ones I've made before didn't have leaves at all, but um, since we have the patterns, I went ahead and included those. So you can add more than one leaf if you want. Um, and that is pretty much it. You can put these together and display them somewhere. Um, and these are my, these are my three. Um, I did get these off of Martha Stewart's website, and there were also patterns for different types of flowers there that, um, you actually had to cut the individual leaves and attach them with hot glue. I didn't include that because I wasn't sure if anyone, if all of you had hot glue guns, but if you do, you may want to check out the website that I send you and print out those different patterns. Um, so next month we're going to be working with pressed flowers and just making some really simple cards. Um, and that is on the schedule for July. So just check our calendar for more information and I will see you next month.